Hi, welcome back. I've set out the watercolour stuff, I've done acrylics for a few days now, and I'm really enjoying them, and I haven't done with them yet, but I thought I'd just put a watercolour in for those of you that <coughs> are missing your dose of watercolour demos. So I'll show you the mess I have been working in. And a water pot. Oh, if I zoom out, then you can see it better. This is the table to my right. All the brushes for the acrylic and stuff. And now we're coming round to all the acrylic stuff. Look at that. All those colours from Wilkinson's and Galleria. Uh, all over the place. So, enough of that. Chaos, I'm not really sure what I'm going to paint. I know what I want to do in acrylic. Alright, let's get that as big as I can. Okay, I've got the board at about, it's quite, it's quite steep. Um, so the water's going to run down. I've got my palette out, I've liberated it from the Stay Wet palette. So I wet the paper all over. Oops, this might be a bit, oops, sorry, a bit wobbly. It's probably a good thing I'm doing this because if I leave it too long, it takes a while to get back into the watercolours and that brush. I don't know if that's a good brush or what. It's splitting, oh no, there's another one. So you don't want it too wet, that it's soaking down the page. So I'll put some nice colours in, I'll put some, uh, some raw sienna in. Just get my cloth ready. You need a cloth handy to soak up from your brush. Uh, right, okay, bit of bit of clean burnt sienna. Very clean. So I'll we'll put a bit of bit of a bit of a lakes lake scene, a bit of blue. A bit of paint grey, a bit of more alizarin. So it's just a bit of a nice impressionist type of sky. <coughs> All right. So blue alizarin and crimson uh, and paint grey. Uh, let's just get a bit up here. Bit of movement in all this sky. Okay, I'm going to put that, repeat that colour across there. Okay, I'll reclip the paper because it's nice and expanded now. Keep it flat. Right, I'll give that a bit of a fix with uh, the hair dryer. So take your headphones off. Not too dry. Okay, there's some nice bright colours here, so we'll carry on with those sky colours. The blue, the lizard. I will uh, a bit of warm sienna and coming down into here. Grey in there, paint's grey. So we can have all sorts of planes, and bits of interest up there. Yeah. Alright, let's have a bit of green, a bit of paint's grey, a bit of lemon yellow. Now I haven't used these for nearly two weeks, so. Not sure what's going to happen here. But I like using shall I, my WhatsApp, I think.
No, I did, did uh, a coastal critic, another Cornish scene, and I called it the lighthouse of the Cornish coast. But I put the lighthouse in after I had finished the video. It was just I looked at it and I thought, well, it needs it desperately needs something. So I put it in. So if you if you haven't done the, made the link to my Facebook page. It's uh, Dave, well, if you find it, it's on the, it's on the uh, video, on the information on it. So, uh, just click on and you'll, you'll, you'll see a photograph in my gallery on my artist page on Facebook. All my stills go on Facebook, so come and join me. Just putting in some foreground or oh, middle in middle distance, I think. In there. No detail in, in this background. Right now we'll put in a bit of a bit of a beach. Coming across. Paints grey. Nice. Deep. Leave a margin for some of the uh, water. No, lots of lots of colours here. Bit of red, bit of black. Oh, black, paints grey. I use a lot of black in acrylic. I love that. I love that. But you get these lovely textures as the paper dries. Right, let's just come down here with more beachy sort of colours. Drag some of these grasses down. Okay. A bit more here. I can dip down a few, a few rocks. A bit of foliage in there. Paint grey and burnt sienna there. I'm creating detail to so I can drag it down and show the reflections. Bit of a warm in there just to drag a few little rocks out of the card if I can find the cards. Oh yeah, I've got one. Right. So just a bit of reflection where they are. What I want to do much around here, but I want to I want to dry brush. So I'll, I'll just dry the paper. Change my mind. I'm going to uh, wet the paper. Now it's dry. I'll put some of those colours in as a reflection. But I want to take it from about there. The rest I want. Oh, I want it to show as clear water. Um, 
clear water along here with the reflections coming down on the broken water in, around here. Right, but you remember you don't... Uh, I can't remember what's going to happen. Right, okay, so the green. Too much grey in that. That's some green. Oops. It's a problem with the paper, it's so steep. And we've got a bit of that blue in there. Something like that. And I want, I, uh, put some dark along that edge just to straighten it up a bit. The edge, when I say the edge, I mean the edge of the water. some harder edge stuff in here I think. So a bit of detail on that back. Be careful with your brush. Don't always know what's happening underneath. Bit more on the other side. That's just the so sake's getting a bit spiky. I don't, it was a cheap one I bought at uh, the artist um, Art in Action last summer. It's not, uh, this is a one man's hate. Oh, that's really all the detail we, we need in there, just a little bit on here. Right, now that sky just needs a little bit of dry brush in this bit of water here. I'll just clean that off a little bit. And then there. Right, with a bit of the uh, blue and the lizard and a bit of plain spray. Just to scumble across there, drag across there, like a dry brush. And blue, blizzard, paint's grey. And then just catch the high spots. Okay, um, we can lift out a little bit of um, this here. So a bit of detail, and there are no reflections here. Yeah. Right, um, quiet, just a very quiet scene. Um, I'll put a couple of birds in. They always look all right, don't they, birds? Uh, right here. Okay, sign it. I hope my head's not in the way. Nah. Right, okay, so I'll put that in a mount. 
then we'll see what we've done. If it's any good. Back to the acrylics for a while. But if I put in a, the odd watercolour, now the thing is, I'm getting, getting into the acrylics at the moment, and I know a lot of you like the acrylics. Most of you like the watercolour, so you know, bear with me. Uh, right, I need a clip this time. Put that there, so, uh, so just a simple, simple little, oops, a little watercolour. Uh, quite, quite like. Uh, right, okay, so I'll just bring the camera around and I'll zoom in. It's at an angle, but I can't really help that. We just can. I can wind up. I mean, wind this up, not wind you up. All right, hold on. All right, let's angle that down. Okay, well, that's not a bad little picture, is it? Right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Any comments, leave them on, on, the, uh, on the video and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.